Dog director Gene Campion reacts to Sam Elliott's pod shots. He was being a bitch because Sam Elliott was basically yeah, like, "Why are all cowboys gay?" Yeah, did you hear it? <laughs> Why are all cowboys gay now? He had kind of a point. He kind of did have a point. It was kind of the gayest. Ca- it was gayer than Brokeback Mountain. What does she know about the American West? Every cowboy in it wasn't sucking cock like she said they were. <laughs> She's a lion whore. He said that all the cowboys were dressed like Chippendales dancers. And that's objectively wrong. Like, I watched that they're not. They were fucking men with families. They weren't out there like Fruit Loops <laughs> dancing around. They look like goddamn go-go dancers. What West is she talking about? <laughs> Sam Elliott also acts like he's like actually like a character from yeah. Tombstone. Like yeah. he's like Doc Holliday. He's like from Sacramento. Yeah. He lived in Portland. Yeah, and he thinks he's so like a gunslinger. Yeah. And he's he's one of those yeah. guys where we were talking about actors always then they start segueing into like they become they start like 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 playing the banjo or they make like vases like Seth yeah. Ro- like like well, I knew yeah. I know a guy, a young guy, and he like makes cabinets with his dad. He like LARPs is like a working class guy. He's like a millionaire. He's like, I like making cabinets with my dad. Yeah, they love that. I, we had lunch runs at Beverly Hills. He goes, why do you why do you live here? He's like, I can't be in it, man. I got to be outside of it. You're like in it. I'm like, why don't you quit the show? You don't want to be in it? Go work at Walmart. My cousin lives in Pennsylvania. works at Walmart. Why don't you, I'll call him. They're hiring right now. You could quit the show. You don't want to be in it. He's... I live outside of it, man. This guy's like an actor. He's just yeah, he's, he's an actor. He's an actor. He's an actor. He's on a hit show on Netflix. You're fascinated by actors, like you love like kind of hanging out with them, seeing if they're actually like living the good life. Well, that's a big part of it. I'm yeah. like, is it real? What part of it is real, right. and, and how dumb are they? Yeah. Like how? And most of the things you tell me, it's like they're usually like living kind of in a dump, and they well, some of them are. A lot of them are just bro- actors are bros. Mm-hmm. So we don't realize about act like we've get, when they're forty fives or not because they're up on stage. They're like the women made it possible, <laughs> but when they're twenty and they just want to put their dick in things and they're just famous for no reason, they're bros. Yeah, they're like Trump's kind of cool, bro. Could never say it. They're like bros. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're bro. They're good looking bros that just act. Yeah, they don't. It's when they get older, they start going like, Yeah, your cry is so beautiful. Like, it's a whole different thing. <laughs> <laughs> what does she know about the Ukraine? And it's like Steve O. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to make a movie about the Ukraine where Zelensky's sucking everyone off in there. They had proud Nazis fighting in there in the Ukraine. What do you think the Zelensky uh, love dies down? Do we get I more of Zelensky? Is it already over? He keeps asking everybody to fire the nukes. <laughs> he's, like, he's the hottest guy that wants nuclear war. Well, those are, they were never going to win, but it felt like cool thinking they were going to win. You know? It's yeah. Like, it's got to die. Ukrainian magic. Yeah. Uh, they're not going to win. It's sad. You know, I'm against the war. <laughs> Just to, you know, to, to insulate myself from that criticism, I'm against the war. Um, but I will say this, uh, you know, so the people that are all into like, oh, Zelensky is going to be, you know, like he's going to be victorious. I mean, it's just not probably not going to happen. Mm-hmm. He's going to get out of there sooner or later. He'll be at the Beverly Hills Hotel pretty <laughs> soon with, with Kim He'll and Pete. Kidding. He'll be with Kim and Pete. He'll be Zelensky. <laughs> Kanye's like, I'll, I'll kill Zelensky. <laughs> <laughs> it could happen somehow. Absolutely. No, no, no. Anything His, said nowadays, I kind of believe Zelensky's it could future is going to live in America and he's going to like fucking, right. yeah, like that's if he, right. he's not going to run the Ukraine. Putin's right. not going to allow that to happen. Yeah. He's, he's going to be dead or he's going to be at the Beverly Hills Hotel, which he could be right now if he left. Yeah. Now, do you get worried when you see like Americans openly say like we need to like assassinate Putin just because you don't want to upset Putin for nuclear war? I'm kind of that like... worried because nobody listens to what Americans say right. either. Like the government doesn't listen to what people say. People have been saying for a long time, can I have insulin? <laughs> And nobody, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody worries about, nobody worries about, like, imagine going to the CEO of Pfizer and going, do you worry when all these people say they need insulin? The guy goes, no, nobody cares. Nobody listens. Um, it's not, it, it scares me more when people in the government start doing it, but then I think people just, Biden knows. They know you can't yeah. get into a thing with Putin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we take this photo of Putin? I'm sorry, no, it's horrific. No, it's fine, I just... It looks like I don't like the tattoos. A good looking dude, but I don't. The tattoos to me are like, I just don't understand the tattoos. You see this guy? Russian handcuffed himself. You to have the a entrance. switcher, so this is what it'll look like on the thing. Yeah, yeah. I like the switcher. You like it? Does yeah. Ben not have one? How he does, does he do it? 
Well, you know him. He's got ten stories about how long it takes everything to do. After after it's done, I sit in a room for forty five hours to get your voice perfect. I make sure that your voice sounds good in a Kia uh, Electra. <laughs> I make sure that your voice sounds good. It's very hard. The, the, the real challenge of audio is to make it sound good on bad speakers. So I read 15 million YouTube. Uh, I went to 15 uh, trillion YouTube tutorials. And then, uh, and then I had to sit there uh, in my backyard for 57 hours and then compress your voice 90 different ways. I'm like, okay. <laughs> He's like,